do you think as a college student or a or a new entrant in yeah. the profession for getting a law firm job there is a clear path for me it seemed like that right you have a clear path to getting a law firm job you should know these things you should have make a cv like this you should be able to get the interview you should do these internships like it's a clear path 2 years even now like when we train our students like 2 years do this you will you will make it into a law firm right you will find yourself in a law firm law firms are desperately looking for decent people who can do All the time. some of the work right yeah. and uh, their biggest problem in fact in growing is not that there is not enough clients the problem is that how fast can we get competent lawyers yeah. who can actually do this work develop teams uh, develop bandwidth develop bench strength which is able to execute work and execute think, the work because in india uh, fortunately given you know i mean you look at us for example the largest law firm in the us is about 6 7000 8000 8, lawyers uk has 8000 9000 lawyer firms in uk is like a 70 million people we have 1.3 billion people and the largest law firm in india is six, still 600 650 lawyers maybe like 900 maybe nine, now, now like 900 lawyers we've nobody not, has crossed 1000 yeah we have still not crossed 1000 lawyer mark china the largest law firm called dutch and which is a dentist's office has got some 6 7000 lawyers and and we we are still not through the 1000 lawyer mark so law as a profession requires you to put in a lot more hard work than certain other professions also because you know it, it involves reading it involves a lot of analysis and that's why it is rewarding the way it's not because of the size of indian law firms is small not because of uh, uh, the you know the because the uh, uh, we make people slog more i don't think we do uh, it is because the indian legal market has not matured as much it is maturing and at a very fast even pace. the industry is not that big yeah. indian entire like compared to a us legal industry which is i think around last between 330 330 that was in 2020 and now some people say it's 350 or 360 yeah. uh, billion dollars okay can you guess what is india's legal industry like last last uh, somebody has done a study was 1.6 billion i am assuming it is 2 billion now yeah and that is hardly anything there are companies which is doing 1 billion dollar revenue right now imagine the entire law industry with whatever 20 lakh lawyers is doing 2 billion dollars in revenue it's nothing and that is because you know if 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 you i mean when i started my practice if you go to a typical indian company their legal advisor would be their chartered accountant uh, it's only now that indian companies have started realizing the importance of uh, law firms the importance of good quality lawyers and good quality legal advice and that's why now you see that there is a growth in the size of the firms back then the largest firm was 350 400 lawyers when we started out 10 10 12 years ago yeah now when i was in trial legal it was 140 lawyers so so from that to now move to a 900 lawyers it's been because the the market has become deeper but it now it is becoming deeper even at a faster pace and and thanks to i think to some extent to indian courts when you have you know the 2g uh, and 3g's and 4g's and you have the coal coal gates and uh, licenses being set aside and things like that people start realizing that you have to be on the right side of law otherwise there could be serious implications for your business your entire businesses could go down and and that's why Uh, there is a increased recognition amongst the indian business community of importance of lawyers so in a us company after the ceo the most important person is the general counsel and and very often you would see that general counsel will override the ceo and decisions because he in india general counsel is you know not considered that important a position amongst indian corporates he still far below a, you know in in scheme of important people i think the sales team would be always be considered more important and a general counsel will be seen as a cost center that is only incurring cost he is not generating revenue on the other hand in a country like the us it's just the opposite you very it's frequently very you will see that the gcs go on to become the ceos of companies very cool. you won't see that here in india the gcs don't become ceos in india because they don't they are only looking for sales and marketing people in us they are looking for compliance and and that's the direction we are heading you know taking on that point what you made so in india there are around 7500 listed companies okay as of today this 7500 companies in the past 10 years back 15 years back were the only companies which will hire a law firm at a corporate law firm okay who else was there in the market so you could see their legal budget which they 
have to disclose in the stock exchange their legal and compliance budget that is one way to actually estimate the size of the legal industry you know in some way at least the business part of it, right then nobody else had needed law firms right and then there are like smes or privately held large companies which are few in india anyway but whatever like you know maybe let's say as many listed companies are there that many privately held large companies let's assume right that is a very generous estimate but theek hai that that 15000 companies right so double the budget whatever they are spending and then if you look at what is the smes the smes did not hire lawyers the smes did not register register themselves as a incorporate didn't even bother to incorporate earlier okay and in india people did business in cash 10 years back everything was in cash people did not even want to show their income right now things have changed Ra- drastically radically changed since upi okay now today even if you are running a street side sh- street side cigarette shop you have to have upi if you resist upi you lose clients so if you have upi all your suddenly you have cross 20 lakh you have to pay gst for everything you suddenly are taxable now imagine if somebody is making 1 crore on a street side whatever this has been found in many newspaper reports that people are doing earning crores running street side stalls or other businesses right sudden and their suppliers and their whatever like you know all of that everybody suddenly need to be formal business right and if they formal business if they then they might as well incorporate they might as well if they paying taxes anyway then they want uh, loans right then they have uh, then they might as well register their ip then they might as well take investment now i'm not saying that street side stalls are taking investment but generally this has become the thrust that you know if you are starting a business you want investment you want loans you are having income and if you are not doing it you are significantly disadvantaged in business environment you will be road like road kill by other businesses which do everything properly raise investment get loans rapidly scale how will you compete with them if you try to remain small hide your income right and then you will use lawyers so entire sme in every country there are huge number of sme law firms who caters to sme clients startup clients this did not exist in india and also now looking at you know people want valuations and and again you know to his point i think you know if, if unless you are on the right side of law unless you are showing everything in your books there is no question of valuation uh, one big chunk of client base for law firms now are the startups so you have such large number of startups coming out from everywhere and that becomes a very large base of clients so when when i started my practice about 95% of my clients you know leave aside maybe 5% local indian psu some large odd Uh, other than that, everybody else was a foreign client. So we were exclusively, almost exclusively, servicing U.S. clients, Japanese clients, some clients out of the U.K. and some other European countries. That was it, and and that's how most big law firms in India have grown. So whatever you see, even today, you will see that 60-70 percent of the revenues that most law firms earn, the big ones that you hear of, are from foreign clients. It's not from Indian clients, and that's why the law firms remain small because Indian clients didn't want to pay. now that thing is changing i think now indian clients are becoming more and more responsive and understanding towards the need for uh, good quality legal services and that's why the market is deepening and so are the law firms now filling in filling in that gap so it's a huge runway ahead like massive massive growth yeah, ahead i think we are just scratching the surface Absolutely. in my view i think uh, and that, that's why in the think, south african legal market which is a much smaller country much smaller economy their legal industry is bigger than ours they are 2.6 billion we are two yeah it's crazy yeah but which is good news for you guys there's more jobs the more money right yeah there is there is certainly i think in 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 we are we are grossly underlawyered while we have the maximum number number of lawyers but this you know when the 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 figure of those two points of some some mil- billions that you are mentioning it would be uh, you know a, a, a very large chunk of that would be with a few big firms and few few big organizations and the rest of it dispersed amongst millions and millions of lawyers and this thing so you, that's why you know when i started my uh, law course people used to ask me what will you do will you sit in a court 
under a uh, you know umbrella or will you carry that umbrella on your bicycle and things like that but but fortunately it wasn't like that uh, it's, it's that was the impression of lawyers i mean if you still go to a tier 3 town people will the first uh, you know uh, the first thought that comes to people's mind when they think of a lawyer is a person with a black coat running around in the court trying to get some notary done or something done and would charge them 500 rupees for 100 rupees that understanding that a lawyer can charge a 500 dollars an hour was not existing at that point in time and now it is you know 500 dollars also now most law firms are going beyond that so it's a it is a very different uh, market today than what it was 10 years ago and 10 years from now it's going to be phenomenal i think you know with then people say asian century most of that asian century is going to be derived from india not even from china it's it's a the indian economy is going to grow phenomenally and we are you know as lawyers we are just a function of the economy